Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. It's a boiling hot day in London today and my bedroom is seriously like an oven, so hence why we're in the kitchen. Um, today I thought I would do a wellness favorites video because there's a few products that I'm really interested in that I've been loving that fall into the wellness category and it's an area that I'm personally getting more and more interested in, so I thought maybe I could make this a more regular occurrence, but let's just see what you guys think before I start uh, doing that. Also, I'm trying to make it so that my bra's not showing, but it might escape. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna start with is actually in my freezer. Bear with me, I forgot to grab it. It's this guy. This is an ice roller and it's for your face. I guess technically this could go under like a skincare video, but um, I'm just gonna mention it because it's it's like more of a, like a chilling and relaxing product to me. Basically, it's freezing cold and you rub it on your face. And it is so calming, but invigorating. It feels so good. I put it on my chest sometimes, sometimes I do it on the back of my neck. It feels so relaxing especially if it's hot outside. Sometimes if I'm like done working out, I'll just come home and roll my face and it feels uh, amazing. It's also obviously great for de-puffing. It just like really helps wake me up. I love this so much. Um, I'll link to this down below. Of course, there's tons of brands I feel like who do these, but I just got mine from Amazon and I love it, especially if I'm tired. I'll just like set it on my eyes for a bit. It's amazing. Also, I know loads of you are going to ask me where my beautiful dress is from. It's a brand called Ghani, and I will link to it down below. I love it so much. I wore it in Paris a couple weeks ago. I'm going to post a picture here where I felt pretty cute. Um, so I'm going to link to this in the description box if you want to check it out. The sleeves are adorable. They're kind of like puffy and I'm just loving this dress. Another thing that I've been obsessed with is, of course, taking baths. I take baths all the time anyway and I've been loving these products for months but I've realized I haven't even mentioned them it's the goop bath soaks and they come in a variety of different flavors I guess you could call them this is my favorite one it's called the martini it's an emotional detox bath soak so whether or not you believe you're gonna have an emotional detox in the bathtub is whatever but besides that it just feels so amazing they have really great ingredients in here as well this one for instance has um, Epsom salts Himalayan pink salt um, frankincense sandalwood vetiver chia seed oil passion flower valerian root and it basically says on the back that it takes the edge off during turbulent times and it centers the body and spirit and I personally believe that and I think baths are very healing and I use baths a lot um obviously to bathe but i feel like baths are a little more spiritual than that i love baths so much and i think they can really change my outlook on things it helps me work through situations in my life so this is one that i really like i also love gtox this is um a five salt bath soak and i actually used this one in my IGTV recently that I did. So if you have not seen my IGTV where I'm kind of walking you through a detox bath, um, check it out. It's more of like a detox in the sense that I put on a face mask and I use this product, but it's detoxing nonetheless to get in the tub for like 25 minutes in a hot bath. So check out my IGTV. And then there's also this one. This is called Nurse. It's an under the weather bath soak if you're feeling sick. This is the one to use. I've used this, I love it. These guys were gifted to me recently, but I've purchased every single one of them myself multiple times. I give them as gifts. I love these bath soaks. I bought a book recently. It's called Wellbeing Recipes and Rituals to Realign the Body and the Mind. This book is gorgeous. I really need to like sit down and start taking notes um, because I've just kind of been like flicking through it. But it's such a beautiful book. It has recipes in here. It talks about journaling. It talks about sleeping. It's got beauty recipes. So much information on breathing. Breathing is something that I, um, I mean, we all do it, but 
I like to focus on it. I like to do breathing classes. Sometimes I take breathing classes, like as far as as fart <laughs> as part. Don't be so immature, guys. As part of my yoga practice, um, so I've really been enjoying learning about breathing. You know, I'm really getting into that ujjayi breath. You know, so I'm very into it. Also, I feel like it helps a lot with my anxiety. Um, I spoke a lot about, well, I spoke a lot about anxiety in my anxiety Q&A. Surprise, surprise. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. Um, but just breathing in general can help so, so much. Um, so it's just an interesting thing to learn about, you know, how to breathe. And there's so many different methods of, of breathing. You wouldn't know it, but there actually is. Meditation. So I'm currently, I wasn't going to mention this um, yet, but I'm currently in the middle of a meditation course. So I'm going to be talking about this on my podcast, but I am learning how to meditate. And it's something that I've been wanting to learn about for a long time, and I've never really taken the steps to do it. Um, so I'm in the middle of my course right now, and I'm gonna, like I said, talk about it in my podcast. But yeah, it just kind of goes back to breathing and mantras and centering yourself, and it's just helping me a lot. So if you're kind of like interested in all this stuff, I highly recommend this book. It's honestly just calming to look through it. And that is what it's all about. Self-massage, checking in, breath retention. That's another thing I've been learning about. But anyway, I won't bore you anymore with that, but this book is awesome. Kind of talking about breathing. This Herb Essentials Cannabis Infused Candle is awesome. It smells so good. It honestly makes your house smell like the best thing ever. It's probably one of my favorite candle scents that I've ever encountered. And besides that, it's infused with freaking cannabis. So... Let the relaxation begin. I'm really getting into CBD and um, just basically I'm really getting into CBD. Not really getting into it, but I'm trying to learn more about CBD. I've been vaping CBD, which um, I've mentioned on my Instagram. There's a little highlight on my Instagram called CBD. Um, because I like trying new products and I just like to see what people think. A lot of people were like, oh, that pen you're using, um, which is from this company called The Chillery. The Chillery were also on my podcast, so check out that episode if you're curious about CBD. Um, but they are Europe's leading retailer for CBD products. Um, but a couple people said that that pen wouldn't be effective because the CBD is derived from the hemp plant, not the cannabis plant. But I, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I don't know if it's a placebo or what, but I feel more relaxed when I use it. Um, so I'm just going to throw that out there. But, you know, different things work for different people. So yeah, CBD in general is something that I'm learning more about and I'm interested in. I'd love to know what you guys think of CBD. Um, leave me a comment. Luckily, the thing with CBD is you don't get the munchies, but I have a snack that I want to mention. These are hip peas. Hip peas. They are chickpea puffs. These are salt and vinegar vibes. They're called salt and vinegar vibes. Salt and vinegar vibes are my favorite kind of vibes. Salt and vinegar crisps are my favorite thing on planet Earth. Salt and vinegar pop chips are amazing. And I'm mentioning these because they are a better alternative to like regular crisps. Although I don't know because I think they're way more addictive than regular crisps even. But they're vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, high in fiber, source of protein, and no MSG. You know what? Gotta break into them. Gotta do it. I just can't be around these things. They, they're like the shape of cheesies. So satisfying. Diffusers. Well, I always call these diffusers, but I think diffusers are those things with the rods poking out of them. I don't know, but... The, I'm obsessed with these, basically. These are something that you put water and essential oils in. So I'm going to take the top off. This one is by Neom. I love this one. It's so pretty to look at. And then you pour water in here. Put your oils in. Neom has like a set of oils that you can get. 
So it has de-stress oil, it has um, boost your energy oil. So you put a few drops of these in with the water, put the top back on, put the lid back on, press the on button and there's a little light with it and it just steams out little um, steam. Yeah, it's like, it's like scented steam. So it's a really nice way to scent your home. But besides that, you're scenting it with essential oil. So you're getting the positive effects of essential oils. Sometimes at nighttime, I'll put a sleepy time one on. If I'm working, I'll put, you know, the de-stress one on or whatever, whatever. Um, I also just buy essential oils like vetiver or, you know, what, whatever, whatever scents you want, you can put in there. I have this one and I also have one from a brand called Vitruvi, which is gorgeous. Vitruvi do the most amazing diffusers. I'm just going to call them diffusers, but they're just so pretty and calming to look at. And if you don't have one in your home, I highly recommend Muji does amazing ones. They are truly glorious. I feel like I need to get one more so I can have one in my bedroom, one in my office and one in my kitchen. And then that would be me set because they are lovely. And whenever I have them on, when people come over, they're like, your house smells amazing. And I'm like, it's these essential oils, man. And guys, I know I always talk about yoga, but that is kind of what got me on this wellness journey. <laughs> journey. Oh, um, and the very first yoga class I took was with my friend Jules Von Hepp. He's awesome. If you want some positivity in your life, follow Jules. I'm going to link to him in the description box. Hi, Reggie. Reggie's boiling right now. It's so hot. Um, hey, buddy. I know. I know. He invited me to a yin yoga class, and I'd never been to a real class, a real, like, in-person yoga class before, and I was super nervous. He's like, trust me, anyone can do this. And I really feel like yin is the gateway drug to yoga because it's basically a slower yoga and you hold each pose anywhere from three to 20 minutes, but typically it's around five minutes. And the poses are really stretching poses. So it's great if you've got really tight shoulders, it's great if you have a tight back or tight hamstrings and legs, and it really enhances your other like fitness and your other practices, like if you do regular like flow yoga it enhances that so much and for me it really teaches me to slow down and breathe um it's it's almost like a like a bunch of mini meditations in one yoga class um because you're kind of focused on something like imagine holding pigeon on one side for five minutes it's amazing and don't get me wrong it's not so super easy like you're still stretching um but it's slower so if you are someone who's like, I have never meditated, I don't do yoga, like I've never done any of this, yin is such a great place to start. And actually, I found a great um, yin yoga YouTube video. I think her name is Yoga with Cassandra that I did the other day if you watched my last video, which was a vlog. Um, it's great because you don't need props. Normally in a yin yoga class, you use a lot of props. So you'll use one or two bolsters. You might use straps. You might use um, blocks. But for this class, you don't need anything. The YouTube video, you don't need anything. And it is glorious to do like at home on a Sunday night. So yeah, I really, really recommend it, especially if you need a little bit of space in your brain and your body. Um, it's it's really, really, really helpful to me. Um, so yeah, wanted to mention that. And oh, the pattern. The pattern is an app that honestly, it messes me up. It messes with my head a little bit. So basically, it's an app that you put all of your information in and then the government steals it. Just kidding, but probably not. But seriously, you do put all of your information, like your time of birth, your date of birth, where you were born. It's basically, I, I feel like it is like astrological, but it's like a little deeper than that. I feel like they get it so right. So after you, oh my God, I'm just reading my current pattern and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so today's pattern says, if you're avoiding reality and not being practical, this is a wake up call. Cool. Um, but it just has, oh my God, 
it just has prompts that makes you think about things. And if you're someone that's into journaling, I need to start journaling again. I used to journal every day and then I just fell off the wagon. It's so tough to journal, but it's so important. Um, I feel like these kind of like things in the pattern help me think about things in a different way and would be a great journal prompt. You can either adapt by accepting the direction in which you're being pushed or you can resist, but you're being asked to think about what's preventing you from seeing the world clearly. Oh my God. We don't need to get any uh, deeper into that right now, but basically you can also put your partner's information. So if you're dating someone, you can put their birthday in and you can like kind of compare your charts. And if you're having like you know, communication issues, I swear it's going to bring it up. I have so many friends on this app and we text each other like WTF, like is your pattern weirdly accurate today? And it always is like, I don't know if they're listening in on you. I don't understand. But this app is just a fun experiment. My friend Yana from Gel Cream told me about it and I was kind of like, Yana, like you're insane. But then I listened to her and I'm very glad I did. But it basically gives you a breakdown of what your personality is like, where you might struggle, where you might thrive. And that is also weirdly accurate. So if you're like bored one night and want to join, I mean, it's something to do and it's kind of fun and it makes you think about things differently sometimes. OK, so I feel like that is. Oh, my plants. I've been loving my plants. I want to do a plant tour once I get my new pots in. I'm getting some new pots for my plants. So I might do a plant tour if you guys are interested. I'm just loving them. I'm I'm really becoming like nurturing towards them. I'm not killing them. I'm watering them perfectly and they're they're just thriving in here and I can't believe it because almost all of them were close to being dead and then my friend Rebecca came over and she was like they're dying because you're not watering them and I was like I have not watered these in a month. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that would be why. So um, I'm just really loving them and they've become a part of me now. So I'm gonna do a plant tour. And honestly, plants just make a space so lovely. Um, oh, my air purifier. That's another thing I'm obsessed with. Um, I, I swear, like if I put my air purifier in my room, when I walk into my bedroom, it's like different air. And for some reason, I was like that, I bought it thinking it wasn't gonna work, which makes me wonder why I bought it in the first place, but I was desperate for some pure air. And I have it on in my room and it is amazing. Like it just, it's the difference of like filtered water versus water from the Thames. I don't know if it's that dramatic, but <laughs> You know what I mean? So I'm going to um, link to my air purifier as well. I, I did like a unboxing type of thing in my last vlog. So here are the things you guys need to catch up on. My last vlog, my anxiety video, and my podcast from the chillery. There you go. You got lots of material now. I hope you guys enjoyed this wellness related video. And uh, let me know if you want to see more things along this theme. Um, I hope you do because I was thinking about making it a reoccurring thing. Hashtag wellness Wednesdays because I love Wednesdays because it's hump day and I love wellness because it helps make my brain not hurt so much. All right, that's me signing off. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Estee Lalonde because I do loads of stories and I'm starting to do more IGTV and stuff like that. Um, and I have some really exciting things coming up. So I'd love you guys to follow me on there. And um, that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.